Good morning and welcome to the show for March 5th. I'm News Director Samantha Reedy Platt and I'm solo on the desk today because the format is a bit different. Today we'll meet your candidates for class and ASB president before voting on March 8th. CTV partnered with leadership to get you ready for Olympic week and we'll catch a few highlights from my interview with the head of the WAS committee. Now, that doesn't mean we don't have content headed your way. We do. And it will all be coming via CTV Rush. You can see these stories and highlights on Instagram or go to our channel and click on the CTV Rush playlist. Okay, first up, it is our ASB presidential candidates. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors will vote for that position. And then advisors, you can use the chapters on the timeline to show your specific class candidates. Before we meet the candidates, let me explain how the voting works. Each candidate in a contested position will be selected using the results of the popular vote, 50%. And the other 50% is the results of a panel interview where candidates will be interviewed by a team of teachers and administrative leaders on our campus. Combine the two and we'll get a winner. Voting ballots will be sent out on March 8th and the results of the entire election will be announced on March 13th. Once everybody has seen both the ASB candidates and your specific class candidates, please go to the Olympic Week preview. Again, take your time, listen closely, and make an informed decision about your class and ASB presidents. They will have a great deal of influence on how the 24-25 school year unfolds, and that requires a ton of thoughtful work on their part. Colfax is grateful to have these students stepping up on behalf of us all. Here's your ASB presidential candidates, Livia Litchfield and Morgan Toner. Hi Colfax, my name is Livia Litchfield, the current junior class vice president. I'm running for ASB president because I have a passion for leading, a love for Colfax, and a lot of leadership experience. I believe I'm qualified for this position because I have strong communication skills, reliable commitment, and a knack in looking into every little detail while also being able to see the bigger picture. I've experienced leading within our campus, not only as a class vice president, but a founder of the Culinary Club and a past president and a current member of the Colfax Leos. I'm currently serving in my fourth term of leadership and I've been a class vice president for three of them. I truly love leading and participating in our school events and I hope to make a difference during my time at Colfax High School. If elected as ASB president, I hope to successfully lead not only our leadership team, but the whole school by respecting our beloved traditions while also finding new ways to connect our student body. Next year, I hope to see the student body create connections at both small and large events. Part of what makes Colfax culture so unique is that students still only show up for football games, homecoming, and prom, but they're also there for the smaller events we put on that keep us excited to be at Colfax throughout the year. Being at a small nest on a Wednesday night, going to a meeting for a new club, making memories and bonding with someone new is just as important as something big as Olympic week. If I'm elected, I hope to provide as much time and space to allow our student bodies to make as many memories as possible, catch up with old friends or make some new ones. After all, we only get to be together at Colfax for a short amount of time. In our leadership team, I hope to see that talent I know we have shine in leading this school. I hope to help us run big and small projects to be better and stronger than the year they were before. Serving our community, school, and each student within it. It would be an honor to be selected as your ASB president for the new school year. And with your help, we can continue to make Colfax High School a better place for everyone. Thank you for your time and vote Livia Litchfield for ASB president. Hello, my name is Morgan Toner. I'm a current junior and I'm running for ASB president for the 2024-25 school year. I've been the president of my class for the last three years and I've enjoyed improving the Colfax culture. Besides leadership, I'm on the cross country and tennis team and a part of Leo's, CSF, yearbook, link crew, and the prom committee. I'm a great candidate for this position because I've developed several skills through my ample leadership experience. Some of those skills include working well on a team, good communication, calmly working out problems, listening to others, and being approachable. Each year, I have prioritized my leadership role because it greatly impacts our high school experience. Guaranteed, many of us have had days we would rather stay home from school. I know I have. 
Like others, I have days where I would love to just stay home and watch Netflix or get a coffee and listen to music. Since we spend so much time at school rather than hanging out at home, my goal as ASB president would be to create a positive environment with lots of fun, opportunities to connect, and to make our high school experience memorable. Colfax is already an amazing school, and we are lucky to have our staff, students, and community who make it what it is. Next year, I want to ensure that the incoming freshmen feel welcome, but also learn that our culture is one of a kind and is stronger when they respect the older classes. Er, and the culture, of course. One of the things that makes Colfax so unique is the events that we have. Traditional events like the night rally, Olympic week, and our dances are things that I would keep in a heartbeat. Building relationships with our staff during Staff Appreciation Week or honoring our campus during campus beautification are also really important because they help us remember who we are and what we stand for. Moving forward, if I were to be elected, I would love to hear your ideas for new events on campus. Keeping all of this in mind, I'm going to try my absolute best to preserve and improve the traditions we have here at Colfax. There are so many other great aspects of our school that I could talk about, but there's no way that I'd be able to fit that into one speech. I would appreciate it if you voted for Morgan Toner for ASB president. With your help, we can fly into next year with strength, excitement, and make this upcoming year the best one yet. Thanks for listening. Hi, I'm freshman CTV reporter Brandon Keene, and it's my pleasure to introduce the two class presidents for our class, the class of 27, Maddie Fee and McKenna Durr. Here they are. Good afternoon, Colfax. Today, I'm here as a candidate for the position of sophomore class president. Some of you may already know me as your freshman vice president from last term. It was a role that I cherished deeply as it allowed me to serve and get to know what high school leadership is like. However, today I come before you with a new sense of purpose and determination. I'm ready to take on more responsibility, to push myself further, and to do even more for both myself and our class. Throughout my time as vice president, I have learned valuable lessons about leadership, teamwork, and the importance of listening to the voices of my peers. I'll be committed to helping each and every one of us reach new heights of success. I've seen firsthand the incredible things leadership has done behind the scenes, and I'm proud to say I contributed and was a part of it. As sophomore class president, I will work endlessly to ensure that your voices are heard and every idea will be considered. I will be working to create more inclusive and vibrant school community along with my leadership classmates. Together, we can accomplish great things. We can make a positive impact now and for years to come. I'm confident that with your support, we can create long-lasting memories and friendships. So, I ask for your vote, not just as a candidate seeking a title, but as a fellow student who is dedicated to making a difference. Let's work together and achieve great things. Thank you. Hi Colfax, my name is McKenna Durr, and I am running for the class of 2027 sophomore president. If I was elected your sophomore class president, I promise to make sure everyone has a voice, and I will ensure my team will be responsible and work hard when planning the rallies and events that we put on. I know that if I was elected, I would be strong and positive and put my all into making our class a part of this campus. In my short time that I've been president of this term, I now know that my goal and mission is to serve Colfax and help spread the joy and fun that leadership is to me. No matter who you are or where you come from, leadership is a safe and fun space for uplifting each other and bringing our community closer together. I cannot wait to see all of your faces when you walk into the rallies and look up at the posters my team and I worked hard on to show our class spirit or everyone dancing in the nest decked out in a theme we chose for you. Those small moments and messages are what make Colfax such a close community. And I will continue to work hard to share that message to the students of Colfax High, no matter what. But McKenna Durr for your sophomore class president. Hi. I'm sophomore CTV reporter Maggie Patterson, and it's my pleasure to introduce to you our three candidates running for the class of 2026 Office of President. Cam Catches, Lily Blount, and Juliana Masik. Here they are. Hello, my name is Cameron Catches, and I am running for junior class president. I believe that together we can make our junior year the best it can be. My goal is to help make lasting memories for every person. People have always told me high school is the quickest four years of your life, but also the most memorable. As your president, I'll listen to your ideas, advocate for your needs, and give our class the best opportunity for success. I, th I think that leaders impact people's lives by doing the right thing no matter what. As a president, I believe that you use your position to encourage, inspire, and give people the tools they need to excel. I'm hoping at events we can create relationships that will last a lifetime. I'm currently in my second term of leadership and being able to be a part of leading and organi organizing events 
that serve our students and staff has been a highlight of my high school experience so far. I'm hoping to get students excited to serve others and get everybody involved in campus life. I will work hard to communicate well, include others, answer any questions you may have, and be there when you need me. So when you are considering voting for junior class president, I hope you will vote for Cam. Hey Colfax, my name is Liliana Blount and I am your current sophomore class president. I am running for next year's junior class president because I love being able to help my class rise to success while being an involved part of Colfax. I believe I have led, led successfully and will continue to support the class of 2026 when I become president. In the year to come, I plan to make sure that every rising junior's voice is heard and every perspective is valued. Representing everyone at Colfax is going to be one of the biggest priorities I work for. But beyond valuing every person here at Colfax, I'm committed to action. Together, we will tackle the issues that matter most for our class, whether it's seeing improvement in school spirit, enhancing extracurricular opportunities, addressing concerns, or any other matter that is brought to my attention. I promise to be an advocate for positive change. However, I cannot do this alone. I can only lead the strong individuals that make our class great. I need your support and your unique ideas. Together, we can turn our ideas and inspiration of what we want high school to be into reality. Together, we can make our junior year memorable, and I want to be the biggest support I can by leading not only our leadership team, but the whole junior class. Thank you for your time, and don't forget to vote Liliana Blount for junior class president. Hello, Colfax. My name is Juliana Masik, and I'm running for junior class president. I chose from for this position because the last two years have been a blast, and I hope to continue making your experiences here at Colfax even better. I have been dedicated to Colfax from day one. Between leadership, multiple sports, academics, clubs, and even school events, I have put 110% into everything I have done. The reason why I love being a part of leadership is because I enjoy being a part of something bigger than myself. Leadership is all about serving others and making Colfax a better place. And I like being in a position that allows me to carry out this mission. I believe I am an ideal candidate because I have been doing leadership style work for a long time. As a middle schooler, I was a member of National Junior Honor Society, which is a program that revolves around leadership and community service. I, I also was activities director in eighth grade and have been Colfax's fall term president both freshman and sophomore year. Aside from leadership, I am active here at Colfax. For example, I've gone to almost all NEST events, I participate in homecoming and Olympic week, I have gone to choir performances, school plays, and I am a member of WEO and the CSF club. Next year as president, I hope to further reconnect students and making the life of a Colfax student more exciting and fun than any other school. I feel that we always start the school year off strong with football games and homecoming week, but as the school year goes on, we get less and less participation from classes. My goal is to send out Google Forms twice a month that can be filled out by any student who wants leadership to put on a certain event. For example, in the middle of September, a student could request a water balloon toss, or in February, request a hot chocolate stand for a day. By letting students request events, I hope this will keep students engaged during months with fewer activities. Also, for the junior class specifically, I would like to start having more fundraising events for our class. In order for us to have memorable events like like senior grad night, senior barbecue, senior sunrise and sunset, we need to start fundraising. Some ideas I have so far are a drive-in movie night or bake sales during back to school night and future Falcon night. Please let me know if you have any ideas. In terms of an ideal leadership team, I'm looking for people who are willing to work while having fun. Shout out to the 2023 fall term leadership team. In order for a leadership team to be success successful, we need activity planners, artists, creative minds, and people who can persevere. Thanks for your time. Juliana Masik for junior class president. President, together let's fly higher. Hi, I'm junior CTV reporter Kaylin Day. Today you will not hear from any senior presidential candidates as the president will be appointed after the results of the ASB presidential race is decided. This was decided by eligible senior leaders. Both ASB candidates will be eligible as will senior VP and captain candidates for the office of senior president. We will announce results on March 13th. And now we're going to send it back to Samantha in the studio. Thanks, Kaylin. We had a ton of fun working with leadership to create this year's pre-Olympic week show. Enjoy it, but also use it to start getting prepared for one of the best weeks of the year. And it's not too late to sign up using the form in your email. Here's your Olympic week preview. Frosh leaders, we are less than a week away from Olympic week opening ceremony. For the love of Freddy the Falcon, please be ready. 
Guys, I have no idea what we're gonna do. But the seniors did say that there was an Olympic Week hotline we could call. What are you talking about? What? 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 Well, I'm gonna try it anyways. Colfax Olympic Week hotline. Hi, I'm the freshman class president, and I need to know all the OE details, and I mean all of them. What day would you like me to direct your call to? Well, I guess opening ceremony? All right, I'll put you to opening. Opening ceremonies where we dress to impress. This is Lainey, how can I help you? What does our class do for opening ceremony? Well, first of all, you're gonna have to deck out in your class color. You're gonna wear so much that you might be stained for the next four years. Next, you're going to need to figure out the most exciting and dynamic way to introduce your flag bearer to the Olympic Committee. I mean, this person represents your whole class, so do it up big. I'm talking theme song, I'm talking chants, choreography, pyrotechnics! Oh wait, sorry, no pyrotechnics. Those got banned when we lost to freshmen in 2014. Next, you're going to need to get your class talent together. I mean, the point of O-Week is to connect your class. So find some old talent, find some new talent, put them together and get your class going. And you can win medals for that. Lastly, you need an awesome class cheer. And it's all about high class participation and energy. Is there anything else I can do for you? Perfect. I'll send you back to our hotline. There is a hotline, and they do know stuff. Oh, we caught line. Do you have any info on Relayathon? Yeah, definitely. Relayathon, run for the gold. This is Savannah. Can you help us with Relayathon? Absolutely. You're going to make sure that you wear your Olympic Week shirts that you get in class today. You need 24 players to cover all 18 elements of the biggest relay race that you've ever seen. And anyone can sign up, so just make sure you go to your Google Forms in your email. You're going to pull for your class, cheer for other classes when the race is over, and you're going to help clean up the race after for your chance to win the gold medal in the spirit of the games. And remember, it's fun, so just sign up. Can you help us with LARP? Sorry, I can't. I'll have to direct you back to the hotline. A week hotline. Can you help us with LARP? Indeed. Hi, thanks for calling LARP, the live action role play where you play to slay. How can I help you? We're freshmen. What do we do? Oh, sure. I can tell you all about LARP. Now, most importantly, you're going to need to assemble your guild. Your guild is going to consist of you and four of your classmates as you guys dress to impress and hopefully take home the gold in the best dress guild category. Now, before you even hit the battlefield, you need to attend Smithery. You cannot compete without attending Smithery. Smithery is the process of making your swords and getting ready for battle. And if I could give you one point for LARP, don't forget goggles or you're gonna end up like me in the nurse's office. Oh, sounds fun. What if my guild was all ducks? Oh, that would be absolutely awesome. A week all on. Can you help us with the obstacle course? Yep. Obstacle course, are you ready to run? This is Skylar. My class is responsible for this day. What do we need to do? Set up a massive inflatable obstacle course and make sure your class decks out in your cheering section theme. Decide to some good cheers for your class and then it's time to race. Get as many through the course for a medal, pick your fastest for a head-to-head -head race for a medal, and make sure your section is as loud as possible for a medal. So, bounce house fun at school? Pretty much, yeah. Full box, 200. I just typed. Oh, we caught line. Hey, can you help us with closing ceremony? Yep. The final medals will be awarded. A highlight video will play. The most dramatic death will be announced. And this year's Olympic Week champion will be crowned.
Wait, so the freshmen can be champions of Olympic week? It is possible. Another O week saved. Pew pew. Ugh. Die, die. O week hotline. Who is this? O week hotline? What the hell are you doing? Out of here! You too! Last week, I had the chance to sit down with the head of the WAS committee that was on campus evaluating our school, and I grabbed a couple of highlights to share with you. Good morning and welcome to Let's Chat. I'm your host, Samantha Reedy Platt, and today I'm joined by David Hill, who is the chair of the WAS committee currently visiting our campus. Thank you so much for visiting us today, Mr. Hill. You're welcome. So, what is WASC? WASC is a difficult to describe. So basically WASC, the process is your accreditation. So accreditation means that your diplomas count for something, mm -hmm. that your transcripts count for something. Without accreditation, you wouldn't, you could graduate from high school, but you couldn't go to college because colleges would not accept transcripts. Um, what are your first impressions of Colfax High School? Well, as I told, the, I've told a few different meetings that uh, I used to teach band and marching band, competitive marching band, and you can mm -hmm. walk on a, on a campus and just kind of get a feel of the campus. And mm -hmm. as soon as we walked on the school, we knew this was a good school and a good campus and has a good energy. You can feel the culture, that it's, it's a nice culture and just felt very comfortable. As you and your team worked through the accreditation process, what did you know was unique about Colfax High School? I think when I first started, studying the school I didn't realize it was an IB school and I live in Lincoln you think I would know that and I didn't mm -hmm. know that it was IB school but I think also just the process that you all had been going through with the new grading policies and some mm -hmm. other things that the teachers and, and staff and students have been putting in a lot of work to affect change at the school and I think that's unique. Well that's all we have for you today Colfax. Stay tuned to CTV Rush on Instagram for sports highlights and more. The CTV team will be shooting all week long during a week, and we will have a highlight at the closing ceremony. We look forward to capturing all of the action. Until then, I'm Samantha Reddy Platt for the CTV team. Have a great day, Colfax, and don't forget to vote on Friday.